Hey, hello everyone, Paddy here, and it's time for another LEGO build, and it's... I've, I haven't done a big set in a while. Well, I say big set. Decent size set. So, I've got a Doctor Who set that I've had knocking around since Christmas. <coughs> the Doctor Who TARDIS Ideas set. So, the ideas are the, the ones that you can go on the uh, LEGO Ideas website and vote. These are fan-made creations that they nominate and then... Some of them get turned into sets. I've got this one. Uh, the camper van is one I know a few people have done that came out of it. Yellow submarine. I've got the Wally box over there still to do. Um, but I wanted to do the TARDIS. Not well, partially because Lego, uh, the new and final series for Doctor Who Capaldi is um, next week. So, I think Capaldi's done well as a doctor. Other people don't agree. He, he's done well. He's had bad writing. Anyway, that's besides the point. That's not what you're here for. You're here to watch me build the Lego. This should take me a couple of hours. Um, so this might be a longer time lapse than normal. Or I might just condense the whole thing as normal. We'll see. You'll know before I do because you'll be able to see the length of the video.
Okay, so here it is. Um, I have to stay out of shot because this is slightly bigger than normal. We have here a completed TARDIS build. Get a few cool little minifigs with it. Well, cool. You get Matt Smith. Doctor number 11 with his fez. Matt Smith was alright. Wasn't I? Uh, wasn't all that like, keen on him to be honest. Got Peter Capaldi because this set was brought out just as he was transitioning in. This is one of the better Doctors. Unfortunately, he's been plagued by writers who didn't know what to do with him. Got away, Matt Smith. Stopped it, hogging the camera. Of course, he was well, Clara. There we go. Yeah. So shame it's his last series. They could have done so much more with him, but they just underused him. Bad writers. You get Clara Oswald, the only companion to get more annoying than Rose Tyler. Um, most of her stories made absolutely no sense. Her entire arc just was nonsensical and pointless and should have ended when she decided she was going to quit the first time and they shouldn't have tried to give her more money to get stay another season. Can you tell I've got opinions on those, uh, on those few years of Doctor Who? We have a couple of Daleks. So these are not minifigs. These are, these are kind of minifig scale but build. Quite cool. Little, little uh, combos. Sneaking away at the back here. Weeping Angel. One of the best new bad guys for a while. I think I think I would prefer the, these as a as a big bad for a series. I'd like an entire a proper big storyline, not the Rory Amy storyline, but a proper storyline involving the angels. But the big thing is the TARDIS itself. So here we have it in its open doubts uh, version. So you can see it's got the whole central pillar and the platform with the panels around the side. A bunch of different panels. So every panel on that centre console is actually different. And you can mix and match them to make your own style of TARDIS, I guess. One thing that is cool to know on this one is that none of this is stickers. This is all printed pieces, which is very cool. Which is very, very, very useful. Um, but this set has been designed to be shown in both ways. So you don't just want the open TARDIS. You can pop the interior out, move it away, and then a couple of little folds, so that folds in there and there, and the police call box signs pop down, and you have the top of the TARDIS, at which point you have a fully formed TARDIS. So this took me, with the help of Joe, Joe was off to one side passing me the pieces as it, as I needed them. Um, this probably took about an hour and a half. Uh, actually this was probably quicker than the nanoscale Sydney Opera House that you recently seen. Um, if I was doing it solo and wasn't having the bits handed to me, probably taking me two hours, two and a half tops. It's not a massively complex build. No really fiddly bits. Some of the pieces are a bit hard to identify from other pieces because there's a lot of very similar looking parts that, um, that are r roughly the same colour as the other parts. But... All in all, I'd say for what you paid for this, and the fact that it was an one of the idea sets, 
it's well worth the uh, the money. I can't remember how much we paid for it. To be fair, I'm a Doctor Who fan. I'd have paid pretty much anything for it. So that's another Lego build. Um, eventually, we'll get round to that Wally build, and maybe some others from the Ideas collection. There's a few bigger sets that I want to get my hands on uh, at some point. So yeah, expect more of these big builds. And sorry, I got distracted by a Dalek. Uh, more of these big builds and uh, just all all little builds in general. We've still got lots of Cooper's to go through, and we've got a few more sets of Mixels yet. Completely forgot about them. Anyway, we're out. See ya.